Hello, this is take two because I recorded a 20 minute video and realized I was only recording like half the screen or like audio only something, something ridiculous. Um, so this is take two and now I'm salty. So, okay, so someone submit this picture because her bangs. Oh, you know what? Well, I just screwed it all up, didn't I? There we go. So her bangs look like this. Okay. I was playing around with it. All right, so how do we fill in the gap? There's a couple different ways I would do it. The first one, let's try, I think I'm just gonna use the lasso, it's probably quicker. And we're gonna just select, that part of the bang with the lasso. Now go down to the quick select brush only to select on select and mask up here. And with a bitty brush, let's just trace the bottom so it looks a little bit more natural. These are default settings. I have onion skin up here. This is onion skin. And we're gonna output to a new layer and turn this layer back on. So the background layer, or the layer, sorry, of her hair, we're gonna go edit, transform, and flip horizontal. I'm gonna cough. Let me be nice and pause. All right, I don't know if that worked or not. Okay, so we're gonna hit the move tool. Oh my gosh, there's Wilson. And we're gonna kinda just line this up. Oh my gosh, Wilson. Then I feel like, I wonder if we could do transform warp. Oh my gosh, Wilson. I just, you can, you can pull inside too. I'm just moving the little bullet points. could do whoopies, something like that. Hit the check mark. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down the Alt key and select the layer mask down here, the rectangle with the dot. This inverts everything we just did. Let's get a white brush. So hit X until the white is on top. If they're two different colors, you can hit D, which defaults it to black and white, and then X to get white on top get a kind of a small brush. If you feel like you need to trace something back in, hit the X key and then get hit the X key again, get back to white. You can always go back You can hold the shift key down to just kind of, you know, space it out a little bit more. You know what? I think that looks good enough. From a distance. I bet that would look totally fine. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and flatten this. I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna go, actually, I'm gonna do Control J to make a duplicate layer. I'm gonna go Filter and Liquify down here. I'm gonna use the Freeze Mask, use the right bracket key to make the thing a little bigger. And we're gonna trace just the outline of her normal, like, head hair. Then we're gonna get the forward warp tool, which is the top tool here. And we want it kind of big. And we're gonna push down those little flyaways. Then if you wanna see what it looks like, you can use the thaw mask tool. And then you can hit the preview or the letter P. 
And then I feel like we kind of flattened her head out a little bit more. So you're going to get the forward warp tool again. And I'm just going to like literally push that back up again. Let me see. Yeah, that looks good. Hit OK. All right, that's what I would do to fill in her bangs. So I'm just going to give a little um, oot, oot, to my Etsy store. I've been beefing it up lately. Um, so go to Etsy slash shop slash dance tog. Uh, D-A-N-C-E-T-O-G. I have a coupon out 20 off O-F-F 75 capital off all one word uh, take $20 off of 75. I believe that's it. If it's not message me Kirsten Spencer photography or on my page um, sleeping on the job podcast you could do or whatever find me. Okay I hope this helps.